Bonjour guys, welcome to a brand new video today on the channel and right now we're gonna talk and we're gonna show you guys some of our favorite cards yes. that you can use on FIFA 20 in each position. We're gonna show you three options, the cheapest, the medium budget and the elite players. Yes. You guys can use either to build a new future champions team or a brand new team just to have fun in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you guys enjoy today's video, leave a like and make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 20 videos. Make sure you guys turn on the notification if you don't want to miss our AE2 Future Champions rewards with our Road to Glory team. No FIFA upon spec, this is coming on Thursday, really hyped up. Nonetheless, bros, now it's time to talk about the goalkeepers. The best cheap goalkeeper on FIFA 20, in our opinion, is Quen Castells. The man is 6 foot 6, we have played more than 100 games with his squad, and after bros, we decided to upgrade him. But for only 2000 coins yes. on the market currently, is one of the best options you guys can go for and as well he links to multiple great players exactly boss we're gonna see that within the next few minutes the medium budget for the goalkeeper we decided to go with Alphonse Arola La Castille Arola is fairly tall 6 foot 5 for me this is good after he does have great decent stats for goalkeeper and of course Arola is French and he can link up with great Sanovax. Now for the most expensive option in the goalkeeper position, here boys we have two or three other options. We decided to go nonetheless with Jan Oblak yeah. because he is the highest rated player uh, in as the goalkeeper position, but as well this Darst Taken and Manuel Neuer. If you guys don't really like Jan Oblak, you can go with Darst Taken, who plays as well in the same league as Jan Oblak. Yes, David Derrea for me, bros, when we tried him, he was not really that good, so I will not advise you guys to use Derrea on FIFA 20. The best cheap option will be Kevin Mbambu. At the moment, currently on the market, is a little bit over 7,000 coins, which yes. is a little bit expensive, but throughout the year, his price will go down. If you guys don't have six or 7,000 coins to put for Kevin Mbambu, go with Ruben Aguilar. Yeah. He plays from Monaco and he's an absolute beast. Nonetheless, Mbambu, a top quality player. Next up, Nelson Semedo. As you can see, guys, we've played more than 200 games with him. And we can tell you, he is for us one of the best right back on the game. Currently, he goes for between 35 to 40,000 coins, yes. which is quite a lot, but he's got the pace, he's got the physicality, he's got the defending, and whenever he gets forward, he is really good offensively. Then, bros, lastly, for the most expensive option, it will be Joao Cancelo. You have yes. as well Kyle Walker, but how Cancelo does have four star skill move, and when he gets forward, he can bring more to the team. Exactly, boss. Here you have either Cancelo or Kyle Walker, but I will actually advise you if you guys have them both to use Kyle Walker as a center back yes. if you guys want, because Kyle Walker doesn't have the same agility as Rao Cancelo. Now, nonetheless, boss, we're going to move on into the center back of the team, the most powerful and the most powerful players in our opinion, of course. The first one will be. Ibrahima Konate. So boys here, you're not gonna spend more than two, three thousand coins to have a great center back. As you can see with the amount of games we already played with him, his quality and as well his French, you can link him up fairly easily and he does play in the Bundesliga. In FIFA 20 boys, uh, the Bundesliga is a great league to build some overpowered squad. Now as well, if you guys want to move on into the Premier League, we have as well Joe Gomez. Yes. Here boys, Joe Gomez will not cost you at least uh, more than four, three thousand coins. A great son of bad boss with A1 pace, 6 for 2, that's all you ask. Especially because he's English, playing in the Premier League. Yes. He's really not that expensive. Next up now, bros, for the medium budget, Eder Militao. I'm sure you guys already played against him, either on Future Champions or normal game of FIFA. And the man is really, really good. Yes. 6 foot 1, medium high work rate. I really like his tackling, but sometimes it can feel quite stiff. On the ball, so make sure you guys, if you're, if you're playing with delay, be careful, all right? We will advise you guys to use the Shadow Chemistry style. Yes. Next, bros, it will be Manuel Akonji. He currently goes for 20,000 coins, and the man is a unit at the back. Exactly, boss. Akonji, you can have as well Mbambu, Akonji, and Castile, boss. That's gonna be a great defense for you for not more than 20,000 coins. I think, boss, we can all agree this is fairly cheap considering as well the fact his price will go down for the year. So now, boys, for the more expensive budget right now, this is where you really, really want to improve your team. We do have Clément Langlais. We bought him for 80,000 coins almost, and we can assure you that the man is a baller at the back. Nothing go past him, boss. That's why as well we finish 82 with uh, Clément Langlais at the back because the man 75 pace, 86 defending, 80 physicality, medium high work rate. This is all you need. 
Next up, Rafa Varane, boys, of course. This year, we're not going to play with Sergio Ramos, but we're going to play with Rafa Varane instead because the pace is so important in that game. Six foot three, medium high work rate, just like Clément Langlais. In my opinion, boys, if you can have a defensive partnership between Langlais, Varane, you guys are going to be good. Yes, and then finally, the most expensive and the best center back, in our opinion, on FIFA 20, non icon will be Virgil van Dijk. The man cost 500,000 coins yes. currently, that's just mental, but he's got everything you need. The pace, the defending, the physicality, the man is 6 foot 4, so honestly, if you guys can afford Virgil van Dijk, do it. Now, bros, for the left back, it will be Kieran Tierney, a machine at the back. Great left back. Yeah, exactly, bros. I work right. The, the, the stamina as well is really good for him, if I can change it. There you go, uh, eminent stamina, eminent this stamina. is as well great boost, that means he can play a lot of minutes and if you guys go to overtime in three champions, the man's gonna be present. Nonetheless boys, for the medium budget, here boys, I think we cannot go wrong. Alex Teles run on Xbox, it costs 12, 11,000 coins. His price might, ri might rise up within the next couple of days because people will have way more coins, therefore, because he's a, a player with a lot of demand, his price might rise, so make yes. sure you guys look forward to that. If you guys want to purchase Alex Teles medium budget, you cannot go wrong with him. More expensive budget now. We have either Fernand Mendy. Uh, if you guys really, really want to upgrade your left back position, we have Jordi Alba, Alba for 80,000 coins. I think boss the best left back non icon in the game for sure. Even though as well, because it's a great thing about FIFA 20, boss crossing is not really important in that game. So the fight five foot seven of Jordi Alba will not be a big problem for you. Yes, the only downside might be his strength. So if you guys really want a, most, a more complete left back, we, rec we will uh, recommend you guys to use Alex Sandro. Now bros, let's move on into the center defensive mid. We do have Jean-Philippe Ngaman. Gabon, yes. a quality center, center defensive mid, but especially if you're building a Premier League and if you don't have that much coins to spend, he is a quality player, 80 pace, 83 physicality, 6 foot 1, medium high work rate. So that's awesome for CDM. Next up, Thomas Delaney. His informed version is absolutely unreal. Yes. He is a god in the midfield. He is a Viking in the midfield, but a really awesome player. If you guys don't have that much coins, medium budget, Axel Witzel. Exactly, boss. Here now, we're going to move on into a more expensive player like Axel Witzel. For the medium budget, I think, boss, it's important for you to invest into a great CDM. Axel Witzel will do the job. And then the second option will be Wilfried Ndindi. So here, boss, it's an informed card, by the way. The normal card of Ndindi as well is really good, but the informed card for medium budget is, even is what you want, guys. For, I think, 60, 50,000 points in the Premier League, as you can see, boss, medium or high work rate. 74 pace, 86 defending, 85 physicality. In the CDM position, it will allow you to have a great, great midfield if you play with that guy. Especially a powerful midfield. If you guys can prime up, obviously, with N'Golo Kante. We have played with him this past few champions and he was the best player on the pitch for us. The man is just yes. way too good, way too overpowered. He is a cheat in the midfield. His stacking skills, unbelievable. The only downside will be his height, but as we said, the headers is not really that overpowered anymore, which is a good thing. Now, bros, lastly, and this is the only icon in this video, it will be Laurent Blanc. If you guys can play him as a CDM, please do it. It will cost you 800,000 coins at this current moment, but he is the best center de defensive mid, apart maybe from Viera, but Viera is like Too over expensive. 2 million coins. Bro, don't even think about that. Just get Lolo White, aka Laurent Blanc, a mm -hmm. quality midfielder. We have used him for like the past two years on FIFA 18 and FIFA 19, and he is still to this day our favorite midfielder ever. So if you guys have enough coins to purchase him, go give him a try. You won't regret it. Now, exactly. it's time to talk about the box to box, aka the centimeters. Exactly, boss. So here, boss, for cheap option, it's not going to be that cheap. But for me, considering the important position of having a great midfielder in that you game, you need to invest. You need to invest a bit of coins. Arthur Vida will be, in my opinion, boys, in our opinion, actually, the best cheap salary mid option for you guys. No more than 10,000 coins. And as you can see, great, well-rounded midfielder. If you guys don't have that much coins as well, uh, you have a lot of options in the League One. So make sure you guys think about it. Someone like Golovin is really, really good. Now, next player, it will be, of course, Leon Goretzka. The man is a German tank, he's tall, 
Yes. He, he's a he's a tiger. He's a panza. Is that panza? <laughs> he's a panza. He's a panza. <laughs> yeah, he's got 84 acceleration. The man is a machine. 86 stamina as well. <laughs> a great shooting. The dribbling is great. The passing is awesome. The defending is great as well. You guys can play him either as a camp, it's box to box, center mid or center defensive mid. Make sure you guys play with him with a second midfielder and yes. you can get the best out of Leon Goretzka. Exactly boss, so now for the final, uh, more expensive budget, we have decided to put Paul Pogba, even though we never played with him yet in that FIFA, we played against him multiple times in Division Rabo mm -hmm. because we are ranked, we are Division 2, so we come up against a lot of pay to win team. Paul Pogba, if you can play him up with someone like N'Golo Kante, boss, I can assure you that your midfield is one of the best in FIFA. Considering the fact this is a non-icon. Exactly. The only downside about Pogba will be his acceleration. Sometimes when you're going to go, um, when the opponent is going to get the ball back, he will be quite slow running down the pitch. So make sure you guys apply a, a, either a shadow or like a hunter chemistry style, something that increases his acceleration and sprint speed. Now for the cams, we do have Hakim Ziyech. Yes. Bros, his left foot is something else. He is a god as a cam. The only downside will be his strength, but even then, sometimes he can hold up to those physical center defense he mid. Yes. Man, honestly, for like 5,000 coins, you cannot right. go wrong. He's 85 rated, so it might be, his price might actually go up for SBCs. If you guys can pick him up right now, go give him a try. He's awesome, and he can give some grand nicks to someone like Promise that we're going to talk about later on. For medium budget, we do have Gomez, Papu Gomez. Man, he's got everything, especially because he's quite small. The agility and balance awesome. If you guys play in delay, you won't even notice the delay with Gomez. Acceleration 94, sprint speed 85. That's awesome. And his finishing is really, really good. His passing as well is awesome. 81 short pass, 74 long pass. He's a bit low, but in game, he feels high. Make sure you guys use uh, either like finisher or dead eye. That would be awesome for him. Yes. And then finally, for the most expensive cam. We fought either between Ericsson, KDB or Marco Reus. And to be honest, bros, Marco Reus is such a good midfielder. He can even play as a striker. But Marco Reus has a cam so, so good. He's really something else, bros. We decided to go with a more pacey cam, even though I yes. think Kevin De Bruyne is a great option for the cam position. But we really, really decided to go with Marco Reus. So now, bros, we're going to move on into the left winger of the team. Like I said, Hakim Ziyech. Well, we have as well Quincy Promise. Promise. As you can see, bros, the ones to watch edition of Quincy Promise because we just completed his SBC just for the sake of it boys we wanted to have a great super sub it's gonna be Quincy Promise a great alternative boys of Quincy Promise if you guys have a little bit more cons will be Felipe Anderson that we packed actually yesterday out of a two hour plus pack but that yes. two hour plus pack was tradable so we sold him for 40,000 coins. coins that's mental Felipe Anderson it's a pain in the ass to defend against him I yes. think boys we can all agree that this player is really fast, really good as well technically, and his shot power is actually great. Now, for the more expensive option, of course, can we make a best player in its position without Neymar? I, I think this so. is not possible, boys. So if you have a lot of coins to spend on a player, and if you guys are looking for left mid slash left winger, Neymar will be your guys. Irving Lozano. Mm -hmm. I think we can all agree, boys. Rana is correctly currently going for ten thousand coins. Um. Really, really wrong doing about buying is uh, non non uh, non wants to watch much, item. Yeah. Just the gold card to use as a super sub in future champions, because the agility, the pace is amazing on that Lozano. Exactly, if you can bring him on as a super sub as well, he can do some damage. Uh, there might be as well a cheaper option throughout the year. His name Alan Samaximan. Currently on the market, there is so much hype around him. Is 15,000 coins, yes. which is quite surreal, but bros, maybe in a few months, it will be around five, four, three thousand coins. Pick him up as well. Alan San Maxima is a great one wing, right wing, my bad. Then now, bros, for the medium budget, Usman Dembele is such a good card, bros, on this game. Five star, five stars. The pace is awesome. The shooting can be improved a bit, and the passing is awesome. Make sure you guys. Either apply a dead eye or enter on him, and then after he feels really agile on the ball. There is as well Jaden Sancho, but Usman Dembele does have a lot more shooting. And for yes. right winger, this is what you want because you can cut inside and then take a shot first post, and that that is going in 95 percent at the time. Let's yes. not put 100 because with FIFA 20, you never sometimes know. this game can be quite broken. Yes. And then bros, finally, finally, if you do have enough coins, and if you want to feel like a god on this game. Purchase Lionel Messi, he will feel 
unstoppable. We have played, unfortunately, a couple of times against him in few champions. Yes, we lost. We lost against him. When we when we came up against Lionel Messi, was I think Messi. we can assure, assure you that Lionel Messi is in that game the best non-icon player in the game. And now, boss, for the for the striker position, okay, this is where if you guys want to really improve your game, finish on better rank in future champions, you guys will need to put a the, bit of money the, yeah, the in, the, in the striker position because this is, in my opinion, one of the most important positions in football and in FIFA, of course. For the cheap option, we decide to go with Rose Morales. Morales. Elephant pace, four-star skimu, four-star weak foot, anyone shooting, elephant dribbling, a great finishing, elephant for me, that's decent, a great amount of composure. I think, boss, for like what, six, five thousand counts, you cannot really go wrong. Exactly, and we have made a full dedicated video to the best trackers. We're going to link it in the description if you guys want to have some more options. Check it out. We have talked about the best trackers on FIFA 20 now, bros, as well for the medium budget. Obviously, with Sam Benyader, the gold card. We have yes. currently invested into his ones to watch. Hopefully, picks up couple in form. But, bros, the man is a god. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you, he is so so good. If you guys uh, apply a uh, hunter chemistry style, his um, acceleration goes up to 98. Yes. You will feel that in games, he is really, really rapid. And then after, five star weak foot, obviously can shoot from both, from both, from both foot. He is absolutely unreal. And especially because I think I reckon for 40,000 coins, 50,000 coins, at the moment, you cannot really find a better striker a better that can give great links. Finally, the best striker on FIFA 20, in our opinion, is Kylian Mbappé. 96 pace, 84 shooting, 90 dribbling. If you guys play in delay, you will not really notice it with Kylian Mbappé because his agility is awesome. Yes. Finishing 89, stamina 84, so he can last for the full 90 minutes and even more if you guys are playing few champions. There's as well a little bit cheaper option with Son Aubameyang, and if you guys have even more coins, Cristiano Ronaldo, but Cristiano Ronaldo on this game, it's not it, as good. It feels a little bit stiff, but if you play under delay, don't buy Ronaldo because he will feel like a truck. If you guys want to enjoy this video, leave a like. As we said, this is our best players in each position. So if we have missed any players, let, let us see. know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new for more FIFA 20 videos. Make sure you guys Turn on the notification so you won't miss out our 82 future champions awards on Thursday. Yes. Really hyped up and hopefully we can pack someone sick so we can purchase Kylian Mbappé on the road to glory. As soon as we have Mbappé, it's gonna be insanely fire. It's gonna be too hot to end all this. So bros, thank you so much for watching. My name is Liam. My name is Vincent. We catch you guys tomorrow. Au revoir. Au revoir.